Everyone has a story, and this one is of Yahya Zayed. Your grandfather was born in 1960 in the Zerka, Jordan, where his family was staying at the time. His family often traveled back and forth from the Zerka, Jordan to our hometown of Betiksa, a village in the West Bank, because of his dad, who was a soldier in the army. In 1963, when he was only three years old, his family went back to Beit Iksel, where they had a small farm and some animals, including chickens, dogs, and a donkey named Hukula. They went back to Zerka in 65 for his dad's army job, but your grandpa only stayed there for one year with his family. He returned to live in Beit Iksel with his grandparents so he can start school at six years old and so that he can learn to read and write. His grandpa even let him take his pet donkey Agula to his first day of school. In 1967, after he finished his first school year, he moved back to Zerka with his parents and siblings. The war of 1967 had begun, and the village of Betiksa was hit. Jordan was also one of the countries at war in 1967, and it all went downhill from there. Because in 1970, a civil war broke out in Zerka where your grandfather and the majority of Palestinian refugees lived. The house he lived in was shelled by bombs and then further destroyed by tanks, leaving his family homeless. An estimated 3,000 to 5,000 innocent civilians died during the bombing known as Black September. From there, the family moved around a bit, unable to go back to Beit Tiksa because it was claimed by Israel, and unable to feel at peace in Zerka after the bombing. Your great-grandfather eventually settled in Amman, the capital of Jordan, and built a house there in Jabal al-Akhdar. Two years later, in 78, your grandfather graduated high school as one of the top students in his class. Can't really delve into detail about what happened afterwards, but let's just say he had way too many adventures for a young man at the time. In 1981, he went to Bangladesh to study medicine, but unfortunately, he arrived too late in the school year and went back home to his parents in Jordan. When he arrived home, he was arrested for three months for failing to report to the Jordanian Armed Forces. From January of 1982 to 84, he was drafted into the Jordanian Army, which was mandatory for all young men. He learned how to drive a tank when he was in the Army, and they used to shoot at empty barrels as target practice in the desert. The Army was poorly trained, though, and he once told us how they lost two tanks during a drill, even though there was no war. One got lost and the other fell in a sand dune. The only living thing they shot was a hyena. After he left the army, he decided to go back to school and came to the U.S. on a student visa. He met your grandma, who was also a Palestinian refugee, a year later. They eventually got married and, well, they're still living there happily ever after.